So, this is the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT, the Sapphire Nitro Pro Plus. I bought this from Scan in the UK. So, let's take a look at this gorgeous graphs card. So, let's undo the, the seal. Oh. So, bear with me. Let's uh, try and get this out the box. Oh, there we go. Now, here we go. Oh, foam. Really? Oh, well. Right. Ooh, look how big that is. Wow. So, you get um, a RGB connector that connects to the graphs card. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. No. It also comes with a support bracket and a quick installation guide. And then that is the RGB cable that included. Yeah, just one single ARGB to ARGB cable. Now, here is a support bracket. I won't use it, but it's a good thing to have included. Let's get... Look at another card. Oh my word. Oof. It's quite a heavy. Look at it. Oh. Right then. Let's get this in. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Looks amazing. Oh, look at the back plate. Oh. That looks amazing. Just amazing. So, yeah. RGB light to the bottom. Two eight pins. It's got display two times and two times HDMI. It's got a big, huge Radeon uh, light to the on the side. It's got three fan design. The eight pin connectors are kind of away from the cooler, and then there's the ARGB connector. I wish it was in a different position. Yeah. Oh, and there's also a fan in connector to sync up the fans sapphire it looks gorgeous it does it looks really nice the back plate is utilized as you can see thermal pad so at least you're going to get some thermal transfer with the back plate big huge radion on the side oh nice and pretty much it's just gorgeous i love the look of it and there is the io Two HDMI and two display ports. And you can see it's a three slot card. It's big, it's beautiful, and I cannot wait to play with it. Ah, it's got also a dual bio switch. So that means it's got a backup BIOS just in case you corrupt primary BIOS. So let's actually. Go look at what it looks like in a system. And this is what the RGB looks like. As you can see, look, it's got an RGB up here at the top saying Sapphire. And then it's got this radio on like bar or some sort of tube light effect. And that's pretty much the RGB. Now, I don't like this because it's got a ARGB connector that comes off here and that looks absolutely terrible like that. I know different cables. I'm doing an up I'm, I'm updating things, so make sure you subscribe for that. But these this I don't like. It looks horrible by there. I wish they would have had of have had it maybe at the back by here would have been a lot easier for looks. Yes, I know it looks horrible, but I'm doing a full water cooling build, so make sure you subscribe for that one. Okay then, so that's the unboxing of the Sapphire Nitro 7800X. Now, yeah, the cables in the case look absolutely terrible, but I am doing a water cooling build, which will be coming soon, since I've got everything in place. I've got brand new cable extensions from Reaper Cables on Instagram. They sell them on Amazon as well. As well, of course, it's going to be CPU water cooled with this huge, mungus graphs card. It is literally about 
three and a half inches longer than my 3070. So this is a very big card. Now make sure you subscribe because I've got the review of this coming as well. Yes, I'm gonna review it because it's a big purchase for me and bugger it, why not? If you guys get content out of it, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you give a like and make sure you comment down below. I'd like to see what you guys think. I would love to do this versus the 3070 because that's the car I came from. Decent performance and I wanna see what kind of an uplift I get from going something this high end. Now, yes, it's not a 7900X, but for me, 569 quid is a lot of money and that is a lot for a graphs card. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video. Comment down below with any suggestions. And as always, this is Richard from Welshy Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.